Join us as we explore Tony Adams' story, an inspiring mix of football glory and personal growth. Tony, a star for Arsenal and England, faced a tough battle with alcoholism, which began affecting him early in his career. His journey to beat this challenge shows his incredible strength and has made him a role model. This story isn't just about sports, it's about overcoming obstacles. Tony Adams' story begins in Essex, England, where he was born on October 10, 1966. Growing up in a working-class family, Adams developed a deep love for football from a young age. As a boy, he spent countless hours kicking a ball around the streets of his neighbourhood, honing his skills and dreaming of one day playing professionally. Despite facing economic challenges, Adams' passion for the beautiful game never waned. His talent on the pitch caught the attention of local scouts, and he soon found himself on the radar of several youth academies. It was Arsenal's youth team that eventually offered Adams the opportunity to pursue his footballing ambitions. With determination and dedication, Adams seized the chance to join Arsenal's esteemed youth setup. This marked the beginning of his journey into the world of professional football, laying the foundation for the remarkable career that lay ahead. Little did he know, this humble start in Essex would set the stage for his rise to footballing greatness. Despite his early promise, Tony Adams encountered numerous hurdles on his path to football stardom. One of the biggest challenges he faced was dealing with injuries that threatened to derail his career before it had even begun. These setbacks tested his resilience and determination, but Adams refused to let them define him. In addition to physical setbacks, Adams also grappled with personal issues during his formative years in football. Like many young athletes, he faced the pressures of balancing his sporting aspirations with the demands of everyday life. Yet through perseverance and a strong support system, Adams navigated these challenges with unwavering resolve. However, amidst these struggles, Adams remained steadfast in his pursuit of success. His dedication and perseverance eventually paid off when he made a breakthrough into Arsenal's first team. This pivotal moment marked the culmination of years of hard work and determination, propelling Adams onto the grand stage of professional football. With his talent and tenacity, Adams proved himself worthy of wearing the prestigious Arsenal jersey, setting the stage for an illustrious career that would see him become one of the most respected figures in the sport. Tony Adams's professional debut for Arsenal marked the beginning of a remarkable journey in football. Stepping onto the pitch for the first time in the iconic red and white kit, Adams showcased the skills and determination that would come to define his career. Under the guidance of Arsenal's experienced management team, Adams continued to develop as a player, honing his defensive abilities and refining his understanding of the game. His commitment to excellence and willingness to learn earned him the respect of his teammates and coaches alike. One of Adams' most significant contributions to Arsenal was his unwavering commitment to the team's defence. Known for his strength, tactical awareness and ability to read the game, Adams emerged as a stalwart in the heart of Arsenal's backline. His commanding presence on the pitch instilled confidence in his teammates and struck fear into the hearts of opposing attackers. Adams' defensive prowess played a crucial role in Arsenal's success. Whether intercepting passes, making crucial tackles or marshalling his teammates, Adams was a defensive linchpin whose influence extended far beyond the confines of the pitch. As Adams' career progressed, his impact on Arsenal's defence only grew stronger. He became a leader both on and off the pitch, guiding and inspiring his teammates with his passion, determination and unwavering commitment to excellence. Tony Adams rose to fame at Arsenal, becoming a respected leader as the team's captain. He led by example on the field, inspiring his teammates with his strong performances in important games. Adams' role went beyond just defending. He organised the team's defence and motivated everyone around him. His dedication and ability to step up when needed made him a hero to fans and a crucial part of Arsenal's success. Adams' leadership and skillful play left a lasting legacy, making him one of the most beloved figures in the history of the club. Tony Adams achieved a lot during his impressive career. His tenure at Arsenal was marked by significant triumphs, including pivotal moments in key matches. Adams played an integral role in securing four English top-flight league titles with Arsenal in 1989, 1991, 1998 and 2002. His defensive prowess and leadership qualities were instrumental in guiding the Gunners to these victories, with memorable performances in crucial matches such as the title deciders against Liverpool and Manchester United.
During his international career, Tony Adams proudly represented England in the 1996 UEFA European Championship. He showcased his defensive prowess in crucial matches against Spain and Scotland, helping England progress to the semi-finals. Although England faced a tough defeat against Germany in the semi-finals, Adams' contributions were highly praised by fans and experts for his remarkable defensive displays. Tony Adams' remarkable performances on the football field earned him widespread praise and recognition, resulting in numerous prestigious awards and accolades. In 1991, he was honoured with both the highly esteemed PFA Player of the Year Award and the Football Writers Association Footballer of the Year Award. These accolades underscored Adams' exceptional skills, leadership qualities and unwavering dedication to the sport, solidifying his reputation as one of the premier players in the world. Tony Adams' life story shows how someone can overcome big problems and help others do the same. Even though he was a famous football player, Adams struggled a lot with drinking too much alcohol and using drugs. This problem started when he was just 17 and got hurt, keeping him from playing football. He thought drinking would help, but it only made things worse. In the late 1990s, Adams decided he needed to change. He stopped drinking and using drugs and has been clean ever since. He once said in an interview in 2020, I'm 24 years without a drink or a drug inside me. To stay on track, he goes to meetings regularly, where people support each other to stay sober. Adam's drinking led to trouble with the law too. In 1990, he spent 57 days in jail for driving after drinking too much. This didn't stop him from drinking right away, but it was a wake-up call. By 1996, he realized he needed to get serious about stopping. This change helped him not only in his personal life, but also in his football career. Seeing how hard it was to find help, Adams started a place called the Sporting Chance Clinic in 2000. This clinic helps athletes who are facing similar problems with mental health and addiction. Adams talks openly about his past because he wants to help reduce the shame that often comes with addiction. He wants people to know it's okay to ask for help. Following his retirement from professional football, Tony Adams continued to make significant contributions to the sport and its community. One notable aspect of Adams's post-career activities is his dedication to supporting athletes facing similar challenges to those he experienced during his playing days. Adams founded the Sporting Chance Clinic, an organization focused on providing support and treatment for athletes dealing with addiction and mental health issues. Through this clinic, Adams has been instrumental in helping numerous athletes overcome their struggles and lead healthier lives. In addition to his work with the Sporting Chance Clinic, Adams has also been involved in various other initiatives aimed at promoting mental health awareness and supporting individuals in need. His efforts have had a lasting impact on the footballing community, demonstrating the importance of addressing mental health issues and providing support to those in need. Tony Adams, famous for his football career, has a personal life filled with meaningful relationships and hobbies that show there's much more to him than just sports. At the heart of his life is his family. Adams married his second wife, Poppy Teacher, in 2004, and together they have three children. This relationship has brought him a lot of joy and stability, highlighting how much he values family life. Before marrying Poppy, Adams was married to Jane Shea in 1992, but they divorced in 1997. They have two children together. These family connections are very important to Adams, showing his dedication to being a good father and husband. In 1999, Tony Adams dated model Caprice for four months, a relationship he discusses in his book, Sober. Despite a strong initial attraction, Adams ended things due to a lack of deep emotional connection. His openness about preferring genuine connections over mere attraction highlights his values. Besides his relationships, Adams has a wide range of interests that add depth to his personality. He loves being outdoors, whether he's hiking, cycling or playing golf, showing his appreciation for nature and staying active. Adams also has a creative side, enjoying painting and sculpture as hobbies that allow him to express himself and unwind. Taking time to relax and reflect is important to Adams. He likes reading, meditating and spending quality time with his family. Despite being famous, he keeps things simple, enjoying the small joys in life and aiming for a balanced lifestyle. This approach shows he understands that being successful in your career doesn't mean you can't have a fulfilling personal life.
Tony Adams is known not just as a great football player, but also as a strong leader and someone who really cares about helping others. On the football field, he was famous for being a tough defender and a captain who led his team to many victories. He showed his team how to work hard and never give up. But Tony's story doesn't end with football. He faced big challenges with drinking too much and using drugs, but he worked hard to overcome them. Then he used his experience to help others facing similar problems by starting a clinic called the Sporting Chance Clinic. Tony's legacy is about more than just his football achievements. It's also about how he has helped make things better for people struggling with their mental health and addiction. He has shown that it's okay to ask for help and that change is possible. 